and welcome to Wellington School. My name is Rachel Debenham and I'm Head of Admissions here at Wellington and now I'm going to take you on a tour. We're going to have a good tour of our science building where you will get the opportunity to meet one of our science teachers, Mr Moy. We have 12 classrooms within the department. The labs are well equipped. We have dedicated chemistry teachers, physics teachers and dedicated biology teachers. Science at Wellington School is all about the practical approach. It's year seven this week I've been building rockets to explain expanding gases with them. The, the students had to actually work out how to produce the right volumes of gas. The skills approach, that's what employers are looking for these days. And there's their communication skills that we need to build, but we build that in the practical work. So for A-levels, we usually have 12 students in a class. That means that we get a lot more one-to-one -one time. Beyond that, we offer contact time outside of lessons. The teachers are always available for extra support sessions. Everything we do is about ensuring that the students get the best learning experience in science. We have a MedSoc Society aimed at our future medical students. We have a science lecture theatre. This is where we have external speakers come in. So we bring in the real world as much as we possibly can. Uh, for example, if we are, if I'm looking at expanding gases, I, I look at a rocket launch, I look at the space shuttle being launched. The first thing I want you to do is state whether you think it is a solid, a liquid or a gas. Wait, sand can't be a Sand can't be because it's solid, isn't it? Oh, so you can't oh, get wait, the particles so close together. So oh. And this is our AstroTurf pitch, which was opened by one of our gold medal winning Olympians. It's a great space for the children not only to play hockey, but also to do fitness training. It's used at break time for the children to let off a bit of steam. So this is Schoolfield, which is at the heart of our 45-acre site. With the Quantox Hills surrounding us, we do many sports here at Wellington. There's tennis, there's netball, there's hockey, rugby, cricket, all of which are played on these beautiful grounds. Welcome to the Princess Royal Sports Centre, our Olympic standard indoor sports facility. We also have a fencing cell, a dance suite, some gyms where the children can improve their strength and conditioning and also take part in our wellbeing programme. At Wellington, it is about providing opportunity for every child whatever their aspirations, whatever their skill set. The philosophy of assess, don't guess. So we have a start point and the brain prefers it when you give it an intent. You're competing against yourself and then we can see, we can measure progression, we can show them how much they've improved. The main thing is providing uh, lifelong lessons really. So when they leave school, they have learned what you need to lead a healthier life, doing habits, coping mechanisms. But it's very much uh, focused on physical literacy athletic development, the ability to move safely. The, the programme itself is, is elite, but every child has access to a programme. We've invested in some expensive equipment that help every child develop. We talent identify children who then go into a talented athlete pathway, TAP. They are the ones uh, who who have aspirations to play sport. Not every child wants to do that, you know. Some wants to work in the city. The TAP, they have an extra strength and conditioning session with our strength and conditioning coaches. So every child will have a tailor-made uh, training program for them. You would get between 10 and 15 hours of support a week. Our swimming pool is an indoor heated swimming pool which the children use all year round for fun swimming and competitive swimming. Adjacent to the swimming pool is our new indoor climbing wall. So as well as climbing uh, in our co-creative programme, we have lots and lots of other opportunities that we summarise in a document called the Directory. And all these opportunities give our pupils the chance not just to learn within the classroom but also to to develop their learning um, in the outdoor world where a lot of people find it a lot easier to develop their leadership, to develop their interests uh, as individuals. And we also have opportunities when we meet 
um, and we listen to the pupils. If there's something that they, they want to do and want to try and we have the skill set here, we will provide that as well. There's no end of the opportunities available to our pupils. Um, there's something for everyone and we always encourage people to give it a go and try something perhaps they haven't done before. So this is Classroom Block, which as you can see, was built in 1908. This is where the children have their history, geography, classics and Latin lessons. I think it's really good for the students because through all of the subjects they are looking at some of the big issues that are happening in the world. I mean in geography they'll be looking at global warming, uh, in history they'll be looking at how fascism can rise up and how perhaps history can repeat itself in classical civilization. they're looking at early societies and we can learn so much about modern societies. Very! It's a really good AO2 word. Simple, but it works. Why is and the most important part of the question? Can you give them argue the day? Not could. Sure. You will talk about two different things. The students can ground it all of their understanding about the world through all these different disciplines and uh, actually the students are really good as well at finding connections across the humanities and saying oh yeah actually I was looking at that in history and bringing that knowledge to something like RS for example. So I think the subjects are all stimulating and referring to different aspects of life that the students need to know and understand. So in religious studies we make sure that every academic year we have an element of religion, philosophy and ethics. And so from a really young age we're teaching students how to discuss and debate different questions. So Following those you've got an answer, but it actually isn't an answer that you intuitively agree with. So I think it's one of those subjects, it doesn't really matter whether you're a person of faith or not there's going to be some sense of discovery. And this is our dining hall, one of the most important parts of the school for keeping the children fueled ready for their day. You can see here some of our daily lunch options and the alternative that we have for breakfast and supper. As everything is catered for here in school by local providers, we can cover any allergies that the children may have, but also look to international dishes to make sure that everybody is fully catered for. Welcome to our beautiful chapel, which is at the heart of Wellington School. It hosts little services during the week, and then more importantly, at points in the year, we have our carol services, harvest festivals, and Easter bonnet parades. It's part of the school that is loved by every student and owned by every OW. And welcome to drama. This is Great Hall which we have all our productions in. And there are many opportunities here at Wellington School in drama. We have an hour of drama lessons each week. Um, you can then choose drama as a GCSE subject and also as an A-level subject as well. And we've recently had a couple of students go on to quite prestigious drama schools. We have the opportunity to take Lambda grades. Um, so they prepare two pieces for an examiner who comes in and assesses their work. And at the end of that, they're awarded a certification. Um, we also offer here at the school uh, our own stage school. So this is something that students can sign up to as an extracurricular activity and within this we want to give students the opportunity to um, be involved in more musical theatre, choreography and acting alongside that. So each year in the school we do two large-scale productions. One will be a musical and one will be a play. The backstage team and our technical team are just as important as our performers. So for Lord of the Flies recently we had students involved in the lighting and the sound as well as the backstage area so one of our students was the stage manager and this is a great opportunity for um, students to take control of a situation and to really build on leadership skills. Students at Wellington School really love drama. They love the practical element of lessons, they love working together with their friends, um, they have lots of fun doing it, but also learning a lot of skills along the way. Welcome to Small Hall. This is where our musical performances take place and as you see, some of our individual music lessons. Lots and lots of music is good music. It comes in lots of different genres, so we try and embrace as much of it as we can and do it to the best possible standard. Depending on what um, the musical interests are, uh, from bands and orchestras, vocal groups of one sort or another, chapel choir, pop and rock as well. Uh, we've got a number of, of rock bands, music technology. It's a huge career opportunity now, so musicians don't have to be performers now, they can be interested on the production side. We have recently uh, installed a suite of new iMac computers and we have a recording studio. We've appointed a new colleague who heads up um, the A-level technology, music technology side of things, who's also rolling out music technology clubs and activities. 
activities as part of the co-curricular programme. So we offer performance opportunities of every flavour really from the first steps, the first piece a child's played in a concert ever in front of an audience through to big sort of gala concerts, uh, contemporary music evenings and everything in between. An average year would have sort of 50 music events, including within that workshops, masterclasses, competitions, music exams. We have a, a large team of 27, 28 specialist uh, instrumental and vocal teachers. Um, so tuition is available. It's a very comprehensive package uh, and it's all about access from the earliest stages. This is Café 37, which is named after the year the school was founded, 1837. This is where the children can come at break time and lunch time to enjoy some delicious snacks and drinks served by our lovely café ladies. This is Northside, one of our traditional buildings in school, which houses our very successful maths and foreign languages department. Hola Will. Hola, Hola Evie. Estoy aquí la gracias. Can you please spell the word for family? Cuatro. Cinco. Familia. Uh, in the math department, you're going to meet topics at an early stage. So we want you to see new things early on so that when it gets to the exam years, everything looks really familiar and you uh, have lots of confidence in those skills. About 40% of our kids get an A star or what's now a grade eight or nine. They get lots of opportunities. We do uh, maths challenges and competitions. We identify that there's a little bit extra help that somebody needs. We can support those students to get the grades they need to follow their pathways. I think one of the key things uh, about Wellington is the individual attention that students get and the way that decisions are made. In year nine, when our students take options, we take the subjects that students want to take and we mould the curriculum so that they can take those subjects. Whereas in a number of schools, option blocks are presented to students and they have to pick one from each column. Yeah, but that's just not the way it works at Wellington. It's all about the individual and we can make decisions on that. This is the Alan Rogers Centre where downstairs we have our English classrooms and also our areas for learning support and at students who are studying English as an additional language. This is our exam hall, which was purpose-built for all our students taking those all-important GCSEs and A-levels. It's air-conditioned to enable them to get the very best results. And now welcome to Wellington School's Art Department which is probably one of the most vibrant departments in school. I mean, it's about the individual, it's about play, we call it purposeful play. It's all those endless possibilities, you know, we don't want to prescribe, be specific or tell students, you must do this. Students are given a theme to explore, maybe revisit something they've done, but show us what they can do, show us what it is that excites them. Are they an illustrator? Are they going to be a photographer? Are they a draftsman, a painter? What kind of art finds them? It's giving them the confidence to feel that they have a voice, that they can all make great art. Pulling a face away from the school and just see what it looks like. Yeah, that's, that's quite that's cool. That's a challenge, isn't it? Have a go. We use the facilities, it's their space to use. So break times, lunch times after school, it's open studios. Yes, there's co-curricular, there's curricular clubs, there's Saturday mornings, there's scholars program, there's workshops. But the most important thing is just getting students into this space to know that they can come in this space whenever they want and enjoy. I think that's a really lovely drawing. I mean, I just love all the, all the little marks. I mean, I can look at this one. And it's almost like that looks like there's a city in there. Welcome to Design Technology, where the students can do everything from woodwork through to metalwork and 3D modelling. At Wellington School, we have two fully equipped workshops which have benches, hand tools. We have a hot metal working area, a CAD cam suite where we have a laser cutting machine, we have 3D printer and then upstairs we also have a design room. So yeah, we try and sort of mix old technologies or more traditional technologies with new uh, 21st century technologies. And this subject really is all about learning skills uh, and then putting them into practice. Problem solving is probably one of the main things that we do so that the students can actually be independent and do things for themselves.
Welcome to boarding at Wellington School. We have five boarding houses accommodating 180 students across 32 different nationalities from around the world. This is what a typical room in Beach House looks like. This is where we study and this is where we have supervised prep sessions from 7 till 9 where we get loads of support from the teachers and staff. This is my bed. We can decorate our rooms to make it feel more homely. This is one of our living spaces and we have several of these in the house. We come here to enjoy quality time with our friends and have a good laugh. These places are great to socialise and meet new people in the house. And this is our new sixth form centre. Three floors dedicated just to our sixth form students with a ground floor rest and relax area, a middle floor catering and then a top floor dedicated to the students who would wish to study in a quiet study area. And this is our study centre. This floor is dedicated for sixth form study, where the students can study interactively or on their own. The middle floor is the interactive study centre where all the students can go to study together. And then finally on the ground floor, we have our library space, where the children could go to read quietly and reference books. And this is our careers department, where our head of careers, Mrs Bailey, interacts with our students and helps them with their onward journey after Wellington School. Our educational philosophy uh, rests on three pillars. The first of which is the cornerstone of, of everything we do at Wellington, which is building great relationships, which are based on values such as kindness and inclusivity, on equality, on empathy, and on being community-minded, so being honest and courteous and respectful of others. We seek to build relationships where individuals are known, where we value uh, people, where people feel understood. We then talk about our second philosophical strand, which is the pursuit of excellence. So excellence is a very individual journey, and knowing that we'll get things wrong, knowing that we'll make mistakes, knowing that we will fail, doesn't matter at Wellington, because we've got you we'll work with you and we'll support you. We want kids to, to aim high and we want them to, to be the best they can be. And then wrapped around that is a love of learning. Of course in the classroom, but outside the classroom as well. Music, sport, drama, CCF, DV, the list goes on and on and on. We also want kids to learn to develop critical skills that they will need in life and in the workplace. Knowing how to lead and how to follow, knowing how to work with other people, knowing how to solve problems, how to be creative and critical thinkers. We are a proudly, explicitly, deliberately process-oriented school. And we believe that in getting the process right, the outcomes will look after themselves. And kids who feel supported, kids who feel encouraged, kids who feel challenged, kids who enjoy coming to the school do amazing things. So we love to learn, we pursue excellence as a mindset, and we build great relationships. And in weaving these three together, some magic happens. <laughs>